Time now to introduce our mystery guest, and this is a first, the very first mystery guest ever to appear in studio. Of course, we started doing this during the COVID bubble, but Danny Briere, we are honored to have you here in the flesh, in studio, in person. Thank you for being with us. Hey, it's, it's so cool to be in live in studio with you guys. It's almost like being on the ice, but not quite as cold. <laughs> uh, we have a lot to talk about today. I want to start with the alumni game. You are playing in that upcoming game. It takes place on November 15th, folks. You can buy tickets for us. Can you tell us about the alumni game, what you're most looking forward to, who you're most looking forward to playing with from the Flyers alumni? Yeah, well, November 15th, uh, most uh, two weeks from now, the alumni game. It's a uh, uh, celebration of uh, Rick Tockett and Paul Holmgren being inducted in the uh, the Hall of Fame. Um, who am I most excited? Obviously, I have to say Scott Hartnell because he's going to say bad things Scott about it. Oh, no, no. You do not um, have to inflate his head anymore. <laughs> Eric Lindros. I mean, it's pretty cool to have him. And, and I'd have to say Rick Tockett. He was one of my first teammates in Phoenix. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to see him and be on the ice with him. Is there any like high school reunion type stuff to this? Like he looks okay, he still can't skate. Oh, there's going to be a lot of judging, <laughs> definitely a lot of judging. So you try to stay in shape just for this alumni game, and after that you can let yourself go. But Who, who's the most judgmental? Be honest with us. Who's who's going to be the hardest on you all making the little side comments? You think? Um, there's a lot of them. Um, You're lucky Rod's not going to be available to be. Here <laughs> that's because, right. I know. I mean, that's a, a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, well, Paul Holmgren will be behind the bench, so he's probably uh, going to be very judgmental. But um, um, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of those guys. For uh, for a lot of years, I've watched these these guys growing up. Some of them I've played with, and now I've gotten to watch some of these guys since I retired. So uh, it's exciting to be back on the ice with them. Not You've been here a long time. So you live here now and everything. Why do alumni so many stay and have events like yeah, this? Yeah, great question. You know, the Flyers organization are they're known to, for taking care of their, their alumni. Um, guys love the area. They stay in this area. And I think it, it goes way back to Mr. Snyder. That's the way he created this organization. And, um, you know, you, you feel like you're still part of it, um, even if you're not really uh, a player anymore. Uh, they take good care of their, uh, their ex-players, and that's why players love staying around. Yeah, a large pool of really yeah. tight-knit players. All right, I want to talk about some playoff moments here because it's kind of your thing. You seem to thrive in the playoff atmosphere. This current Flyers team looking to try to get back there. Obviously had some recent playoff success under Lane Vino, kind of a down year <laughs> last year. Can you tell me what does it mean to you to get to the playoffs in this city? How was it different here in Philly? There's, there's no better moment. Um, you know, I, I grew up where the playoffs were all I cared about. I still to this day is my favorite time of the year. Um, you know, we didn't have it last year for many different reasons, mm -hmm. uh, starting with COVID. Uh, but I like the, the job to start with what Chuck Fletcher has done, um, bringing in some different players, guys with energy, um, with a lot more grit. Um, I, I think we're a lot more exciting to watch. So uh, this team, I think, is, has a little something special that we hadn't seen the last couple of years. Yeah, people remember you, I mean, with the shot, obviously. I happen to remember you for being a killer in the playoffs against the Flyers. But, but, but when you, you don't have to talk you, about that yeah, right now. You, when, you, when you say the grit, they remember your shot and you scoring the goals. But you had a bit of a nasty edge, which I think people wanted this team to have coming into this season. You played with a real, I'm going to say you're a dirty player, but that stick was up if somebody was coming at you. Yeah, I learned early on to protect <laughs> myself and create some room for myself. Uh, but you look at the players that we've acquired uh, you know, this offseason. Ellis, even for a little guy, plays with uh, a lot of grit. Um, Ristolainen, and I know the analytics community, community are not super high on him, but what people forget sometimes is a guy like that brings, makes you feel bigger on the ice. And on the other side, you know, guys might feel a little smaller. They might think twice about going to the front of the net. Um, a guy like Cam Atkinson, you know, I've loved yeah. watching him play, his style of play. And he's not a big guy, but he goes to the net, he shoots the puck. Um, you know, even Derek Brassard brings us a, a little yeah. oomph to, to our lineup. So um, I really like what has been done with this team. I'm telling uh, Ryan Ellis you called him a quote-unquote little guy, but that's okay. <laughs> Looking back on your Flyers career, what is your favorite memory that when you think about this time in Philadelphia, is the immediate thing that jumps to you. 2010, mm -hmm. um, that, that playoff run. And it's not just one game. It's that whole two-month block starting from uh, game 82 of the regular season, playing against the Rangers, going to shoot out to the side, who's going to the playoffs between the two teams, um, you know, all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. That was definitely 
my favorite time as a flyer. The ultimate stress test. The ultimate stress test, Al. Well, the, the stress test is just the playoffs. Can you tell when you get players in if, if they're going to be a playoff player? Is there anything that you can see in a guy that you say, you know what, until he's there, can you see it, that he's going to be the playoff player? Um, it, it's tough. It's tough to tell. There's, there's guys that it really jumps out at you the way they play. Um, you know, with, with, we talked about grit earlier. Um, just if they're very emotional when, when the game's on the line. And, and there's guys that tend to disappear when, when the moment get, get big. Um, you can tell maybe that's not their, their favorite time of the year. Um, but there's guys that will surprise you that you don't expect from. Um, and they'll show up big. So you, you hope that um, we have most of the these guys this year. Uh, you're obviously still very involved when it comes to Philadelphia Flyers. We saw you on the ice yesterday at practice with Kevin Hayes and Ryan Ellis getting them back to full health. When it comes to this Flyers team, obviously wholesale changes during the offseason, but what have been your initial impressions of the group that's here now and just how different it looks from last year's team? I think what hit me the most is how they love being at the rink with each other. Um, you know, you're adding guys like Keith Yandel, um, Cam Atkinson, they just brought an energy. We saw that from day one in training camp. These guys were around. There's a lot, they were a lot more talkative on the ice. They, there's an excitement that we haven't had in the last couple of years, and that's the first thing that jumped to me. Danny Breer, thank you so much for joining us here. Again, I want to remind everyone that the Flyers alumni game is coming up on November 15th. If you are looking for tickets, of course, you can find them at the Wells Fargo Center website, or you can actually go to the Flyers alumni Twitter, and there is a link in their bio as well.